We now have visibility into half a trillion dollars of cumulative Blackwell and early ramps of Rubin through 2026. And as you know, 2025 is not over yet and 2026 hasn't started. This is how much business is on the books. Half a trillion dollars worth so far. That's five times the growth rate of Hopper. NVIDIA just dropped a bombshell that's sending shockwaves through Wall Street, and it could redefine the future of technology as we know it. During his keynote in Washington, D.C., Jensen Huang revealed that NVIDIA now has visibility into nearly $500 billion in GPU sales through 2026, and that's without including China. Let that sink in. Half a trillion dollars of demand for one type of chip, fueled by the global race to build artificial intelligence infrastructure. According to Bank of America's top semiconductor analyst, Vivek Arya, even that $500 billion estimate might be conservative. His team believes the real number could be far higher as every gigawatt of AI capacity adds another $25 to $40 billion in GPU spending. This is no longer a hype cycle. It's a capital arms race. Trillions are being poured into building the backbone of the AI economy. High-speed networks, liquid-cooled data centers, and cutting-edge semiconductor fabs. Inflation is cooling, rate cuts are on the horizon, and capital is rotating back into growth. Yet while most investors are chasing familiar tech giants, the real opportunity lies in the companies that enable this $500 billion explosion, the firms supplying the hardware, connecting the systems, and financing the AI build-out itself. So in today's video, we'll uncover three companies perfectly positioned to dominate the second wave of the AI boom. Firms that sit at the very core of this global transformation. NVIDIA might have sparked the fire, but these companies are building the empire. Let's begin. First on the list is Marvel Technology Inc., ticker symbol MRVL, the silent giant powering the invisible highways of AI. While most investors focus on GPU makers, Marvel is the company building the critical infrastructure that allows those GPUs to talk to each other. Its technology connects the massive clusters that run AI workloads for hyperscalers like Amazon, Meta, and Microsoft, and that's where the real long-term growth lies. After a tough start to the year, Marvel has quietly staged a fundamental comeback. Its latest quarter showed data center revenue up 69% year-over-year, now making up nearly three-quarters of total sales. The company's shift to an AI-first strategy has paid off, especially with its booming custom silicon business. Management recently expanded their total addressable market to $94 billion by 2028, supported by over 50 new design opportunities with a potential lifetime revenue of $75 billion. That's not hype, that's pipeline. What makes Marvel so critical is its role in designing custom chips, or XPUs, for AI data centers. These chips are tailor-made to accelerate specific workloads, offering faster performance and better efficiency. With hyperscalers demanding custom solutions to run AI at scale, Marvel's expertise gives it a durable competitive edge. In its latest quarter, operating margins hit 34.8%, with earnings per share up 123% year-over-year, showing powerful operating leverage. And it's not just compute, Marvel also leads in electro-optics and high-speed networking, which have become essential as AI workloads explode. Its acquisition of Infi has multiplied that business fivefold since 2021. So while the market punished Marvel for short-term misses, the fundamentals point to strength. As the $500 billion GPU supercycle unfolds, Marvel isn't just connecting data centers, it's becoming the nervous system of the AI world. Next, let's move from silicon to the steel that houses it, Supermicro Computer Inc., ticker symbol SMCI, the hardware backbone of the AI revolution. While NVIDIA designs the brains of AI, Supermicro builds the bodies that make those brains work the servers, racks, and cooling systems powering the world's fastest data centers. Now, the company recently faced a short-term stumble. Management warned that some shipments, worth about $1.5 billion in revenue, would shift from the first quarter of fiscal 2026 to the second. The market panicked, sending shares lower. But here's the twist. Supermicro reaffirmed its full-year guidance of at least $33 billion in revenue, which means the demand isn't gone, it's simply delayed. That guidance implies a jaw-dropping 74% growth in the second half of the year, fueled by record orders for systems built around NVIDIA's Blackwell GB300 and B300 GPUs. What makes Supermicro special is its engineering first model. Unlike legacy server manufacturers, it designs and delivers highly customizable, energy-efficient systems tailored for AI and cloud workloads. 
Its liquid-cooled AI servers are now seeing explosive adoption as hyperscalers push for greater power efficiency. These systems allow data centers to pack more computing power into less space, critical for the next generation of AI clusters. Margins have been under pressure as the company scales production, but that's a natural trade-off for growth leadership. Free cash flow remains strong at $1.5 billion, and once delayed shipments are recognized, profitability should rebound. More importantly, Supermicro has proven it can move faster than the competition, securing over $12 billion in new design wins across global data centers. As NVIDIA's Blackwell and Rubin chips enter mass deployment, Supermicro will be at the forefront of that rollout. It's not just selling hardware, it's building the physical foundation of the AI era, one rack at a time. And finally, the company that makes it all possible, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Incorporated, ticker symbol TSM, or TSMC. If NVIDIA is the brain of artificial intelligence, TSMC is the heartbeat that powers the entire system. Every advanced AI chip, from NVIDIA's GPUs to Apple's M-series processors, is manufactured in TSMC's foundries. That's why it's often called the purest AI play in the semiconductor world. TSMC's recent results were nothing short of phenomenal. In Q3 2025, the company posted record revenue of over $33 billion, up 40.8% year-over-year, with net profit rising nearly 39% and a gross margin of 59%. It's ramping up 3 nanometer production, fully utilizing its 4 nanometer and 5 nanometer capacity, and preparing to launch 2 nanometer manufacturing next year. Its order books are overflowing, with massive contracts from NVIDIA, AMD, Apple, Google, Amazon, and Meta. In a major strategic move, TSMC recently produced its first US-made Blackwell wafer for NVIDIA at its Arizona facility. That milestone not only diversifies geopolitical risk, but also marks a new chapter in securing America's AI supply chain. TSMC now commands around 70% of the global foundry market, far ahead of Samsung and Intel, which still lag in both scale and technology. What's driving this unstoppable momentum is simple. Demand for compute. As AI models grow exponentially more complex, the need for cutting-edge chips is insatiable. TSMC's unmatched leadership in advanced node manufacturing, combined with its massive capital investments in Taiwan, Japan, and the US, ensures it remains at the epicenter of global AI production. Even at a premium valuation, TSMC's structural growth story stands unrivaled. With robust execution, expanding capacity, and a customer list that reads like a who's who of the AI world, TSMC isn't just participating in the AI boom, it's enabling it. For investors seeking the most direct exposure to the future of compute, TSMC represents the foundation of that vision. The AI revolution isn't a distant vision anymore, it's unfolding right now. NVIDIA may have ignited the spark, but it's companies like Marvel, Supermicro, and TSMC that are constructing the foundation of this trillion-dollar transformation. Marvel connects the data highways, Supermicro builds the physical architecture, and TSMC fabricates the chips that make it all possible. Together, they form the backbone of a new industrial era, one defined not by oil or steel, but by compute power. In every technological revolution, the biggest fortunes are made by those who understand where the real value lies, in the enablers, not just the headline names. So as this $500 billion AI power race accelerates, remember, the winners of tomorrow are being built today. Stay informed, stay curious, and keep your eyes on the companies shaping the infrastructure of intelligence itself.